What's up everybody, my name is JR, AKA The Sinister Camaro, and welcome to another video. I'm trying something new today, hope you guys like it. Welcome to Motivational Mondays, we'll get back to it after this. What's up everybody, thank you so much for joining me again for another video. Um, I've got some awesome content that we got coming to the channel this week, so stay tuned for that. Um, I just wanted to let you know that if you like videos like this, because this is brand new content, this is a brand new uh, series that I'm bringing to you, I want to see if you guys like it. So hit that like button at any point in this conversation if you agree. Leave a comment down below and let me know how you can help with this situation and help build this community of Sinister Camaro Army. And let's help each other to succeed and be successful in life all together. So what I'm going to talk about is going to be basically about bullies. Now, bullies have been a big talk in the news and at schools and things like that. It could be anything in person, it could be on social media. Um, there's so many different uh, aspects that bullies can get to you, but it's all about how you react to them as far as, as if they keep doing it and stuff like that. So, I gotta say that make sure that when dealing with these kind of people, especially on social media, because when you're hiding behind a screen um, or a monitor like millions of miles away from somebody, it's so much easier to put someone down, to get mad and angry at it, and to fight back. But don't do that. Reasons why I say this, I'll bring up later in the video. But don't ever be afraid of what others might say or do, because they can't dictate your life. I mean, no matter what they can say, they can't hurt where you're going in life and all the accomplishments that you plan on doing or have done in the past. So, when we're dealing with bullies, the best thing to do is to not respond at all or to kill them with kindness. What I mean by this is, like, let's say someone on social media says that you've got a, a terrible car. I mean, it shouldn't even be up there with even the greatest of the great and it's terrible to take it back to the junkyard and all that stuff. I've seen these comments before. But um, basically, don't worry about responding back to them. The fact that they saw it, you saw it, I mean, makes them feel better. Oh yeah, I got to you. But then you don't say anything. They're like, hmm, uh, what am I gonna do now? He's not getting triggered. So what do what, what I do? So they just move on. Most cases that works. So I tried it myself. I've actually done some studies myself uh, because when growing up, like I was never the proper popular kid in school. Uh, on social media, there was a point where nobody knew me, nobody cared to know me. But, you know, you build up those friendships and relationships and stuff like that, and you got people that, that have your back. So I appreciate every single one of you that has done that for me over the years, because you have given me much respect for you as well. So, if you don't crack, if you don't give in to the hate and fire back at them, um, they get frustrated and leave because, again, they have nothing to go off of. They want to see a rise in you, they want to see you break, they want to see you bend, but if you don't do that, then they've got nothing to use against you. Therefore, they'll move on and go somewhere else to somebody else. Um, but kill them with kindness. What I mean by that is when somebody's giving you a negative opinion or review on social media in person, you know, um, it could be in your in your third grade class. I mean, depending on how old you are, because uh, this is going to apply to everyone. But. Bullies are very insecure. They want to basically lower everybody to their level because they're not in a right mindset. They're not having a good life. Something's going on with their lives that they need to, to take control of, but they don't want to face it. Instead, they'd rather look at other people who are doing well and bring them down to the level that they're on. Don't let them do this. Uh, I know it's going to sound weird to do, but going back, lashing back out at them, all it's going to do is just keep that fuel going. If you don't respond back, if you have that caring mindset, then you don't say anything or you go up to them and like, hey man, uh, I just want to let you know that I'm here for you. Oh, I, I respect you. Um, it wasn't very nice of you to say that to me, but uh, you must have something going on. If there's anything I can do, please let me know. I want to help you. I've got a group of people that can help you as well. We can be friends. I mean, just kill them with kindness. Be as nice as you possibly can be. Don't give everybody else around you a reason to think just the greatest thing to walk the earth. He's so much better than everybody else. You don't want to go the opposite direction of thinking that, oh, well, he's mad. Look at him get mad at him too. It's so funny. Ha ha ha. 
So now, what the kind of message you want to send to people when dealing with bullies is the fact that you're nice and comfortable with yourself, that you can offer help to them in a way that others will see you as a nice person or like don't mess with him because I mean he hasn't done anything to you. People will start sticking up for you because of that. Um, don't ever lash back out at them because that makes both of you a bad person or it could be that they're the class clown or something and lashing back out at them they got a bunch of friends because of being the class clown because he's good at getting to you and getting on your nerves or he or she. They have a reputation for it that they want to uphold and just letting them get along with that and firing back at you is just it's going to cause a whole bunch of stress for you that you don't need and, it's, and just don't lose any sleep over it just plain and simple there's no reason no nothing anybody can say or do to you should ever change your mindset on how the world, world works or how you work how your friends around you work it's all about the image that you have for yourself that should be seen by others don't ever let anyone break that down for you. So I know this, uh, the kill of kindness sounds dumb. I've actually been in that position before. So on Facebook, I've got a censored Camaro page uh, that's dedicated to the car or AKA business, I guess. Um, but I've got a page on there and I've got over like five, 600 people on it. I've got mostly five star reviews except for this one person. So I was sitting in church doing audio visual because of that, I do that every once in a while because uh, I'm a tech nerdy kid. But, um, but basically I was just sitting in church, I get this message, I got one star, and they sent me a pretty vulgar message. So basically they told me my car's uh, a piece of crap. They basically told me that um, I'm, it's a waste of a car, um, that they hate everything they've done to it, then that even at one point, they said I should kill myself. Yep, somebody was actually that shallow to do that to somebody random. I don't even know who this guy is. So I do some some snooping. I go back to his page. I see he's only got like 180, 80, 138 friends, something like that. He's a Mustang guy. So I figured, okay, cool. It's something to do with Camaro versus Mustang. So I have no big deal with that. But just the way he he tried to lash out at me. At first, I wanted to be like, oh man, you made me so mad. I'm gonna come get you, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin your car on the street. Don't worry about it. You got no friends, you got this. I wanna do that so bad because it's just, it hit a nerve. However, I did not. Why? Because I wanted to kill them with kindness. So, I messaged back to him. And I was like, you must be going through something. Um, I'll be praying for you. I hope you have a great day comes back lashing out oh you should go kill yourself da, 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 da. I mean just keeps on and on and I keep messaging back letting them know that you know if you need somebody well, I'm here for you the community's here for you just let me know keeps going back and forth all he had is nothing but hate to give me now the one star review yeah that hurts the page but I mean that's nothing really right now to even be concerned about and I've had good enough friends to raise it back up a little bit I mean we're not perfect anymore but I mean, in business, marketing, anything, people are just going to have a reason to just uh, rate your business bad anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. But I basically killed him with kindness. He got to a point where he got frustrated and did not reply back. The next thing I know, my friends started to see it. I never post anything about it, but they just run across it. It's like, what in the world's going on with this guy? I was like, I'm not sure. He could be going through something. He could have lost his dad that he loved very much and he worked on his car with. He could have um, uh, had a pet dog or something. He could have died. And he just wanted to lash out at something to make himself feel better. But I didn't let him do that. Now this guy, it's been a few months, so this guy has not come back to me. But I'm hoping that one day, if he sees this, that he'll come back and just mess with me directly. Not even out in front of anybody. Just say, hey man, he's going through some stuff. I'm sorry. I uh, didn't mean to do all that stuff to you, but um, I hope you forgive me. Like, that that's the basic thing that I'm looking for, but is it going to happen? I doubt it. I really do. But it makes me feel good that my image and that what I perceive myself to be as like a caring, nurturing person that likes to help people and build cars and do video games now every now and then, 
Like that's the image that I want people to perceive about me. So I kept that all the way through no matter how mad I was and everybody saw that and respected me for it because they saw that I wasn't letting somebody get to me so for something so so basic and stupid. I mean, we never know. You never know what somebody's going through. You know, you just gotta treat people like you would wanna be treated and have the respect for people even if they don't have the respect for you. All this may sound dumb. I know when I was thinking about it, thinking about doing it, it sounded dumb to me. However, I have seen positivity come from it. So make sure that when you're dealing with bullies, either don't respond or kill them with kindness. That's all I ask. Because if you never know, I mean, a few years from now, I've heard so many people say, oh, you, we bullied each other so hard when we were in school. Then you get out of school, you get a life, you get a family. The next thing you know, they're like, oh, we're the same person. Why, why didn't we become friends back then? Because y'all were too busy bullying each other um, to worry about that. You didn't really see each other for what they were. You only saw them as negativity because of what they did to you or what you did to them. You just don't know people, what they're going to do, but always know yourself more than anything. Just know that with bullies, the ones who make fun of you are always the ones that wish they were you and are jealous of your accomplishments. They're going to try to tear you down. They're going to try to watch you bend and break. No matter what, stay strong even in the toughest of times to prove that you are better than that. Keep your image. Never bend or break because of what people do or say, no matter if it's online or in person. Keep your image. Uh, the moment that they, uh, that they see that they, they're getting to you, that you're getting mad and angry and fed up with it, the more likely they'll keep doing it because they have the ammunition. They're like, okay, this is fun. This is awesome. I, see, I get them mad. So I mean something to somebody right now. I'm, I'm on the top of their list. I'm the person that makes them not sleep at night. That's me. Don't let them do this. There's no point. There's no reason for it. If people don't respect you, okay, move on. They're lost. You're a better person. I mean, simple as that. You know, when you think about it, you might think, you know, I've done so much for the community. I've done so much for others. I can, I've basically given back and I respect people more than anything else in this world. They just don't know me. Don't worry about it. They'll eventually see that because now you're on their radar after all the stuff they said and you didn't have been a break. So now they're looking for other ways to get to you. So just keep doing you. Keep doing the good things in life. Don't worry about them. They'll be worried about you, but you won't be worried about them because you get too much stuff going on and you get too much greatness to achieve. So don't let that hold you back. And uh, even after that social media spat, you know, with the, the whole like um, the Facebook issue, um, in real life, I mean, people will not walk up to you and say, well, that's a crappy car. Why in the world would you do that? Like they do on social media because they can't hide behind a screen because there's negative repercussions in person if they speak to the wrong person. Me, I could care less if you're in front of me. Hey, I, I respect your opinion. I don't care if you like it or not. As long as, as we're cool, I mean, we're good. If not, then have fun. So in real life, I mean, the other day, I, I got praised by a, a woman and a man in a Mini Cooper, and they said, it's so awesome, I love it. I hope they see this video, because thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Uh, I see so many of you guys shouting out to me, saying how great of a job I'm doing. And I want to see you guys do the same thing and winning in life. That's my ultimate goal. I mean, I believe I'll sit on this world to help other people. So let's keep it up. Let's do this together. Let's make the Sinister Khmer Army, instead of something negative, like the word sinister is, instead of making it something negative, let's make it something positive. Let's do this together. Like Roman Atwood says, let's smile more. Go up to somebody, do something nice, pay it forward. Put that smile on. I mean, you never know what somebody's going through. But you put that smile on, they see that, they want to smile too. You say, hey, good morning. Simple words, but it means a lot to somebody who needs it. At the end of the day, we can't bend and break. We're, the best thing you can do, cut those kind of people from your life. Unfriend them on Facebook, unfriend them on Instagram. Because when they see you winning, they'll come back and want to watch you. Why? Because they're looking for a reason to cut you down and cut down the, the person that you are. Don't let them do that. The best thing that can possibly happen between the two of you, part ways, don't say anything. 
just live your life. Don't worry about them. They don't worry about you. But at some point, I mean, you're going to have to grow up. And life's going to be more complicated than, oh, that person doesn't like me because of my hair. Don't worry about that. Uh, that's not something we, we worry about here on this channel. So a big thing that brought about this um, video that I wanted to do for a, a few years, because yes, I was scared to do YouTube because I'd be on the screen and all of you would be down there and I was worried that people would comment, dislike videos and go in the comments and just spew hate for me. So for two years, I didn't even do YouTube, to be honest, because I wasn't ready for it. So what I did was I built up that community on the back end with Facebook, with Instagram, uh, just our Twitter, Tumblr. I, I just love meeting people at the end of the day. I, I, I don't want to be stuck in a hermit crab show and I don't want to not talk to anybody. I want to I want to know what you guys think. Just build you guys up. See you guys winning. Just all of us. Just creating a community in which we don't tear each other down. We build each other up. It could be Camaros, Mustangs, Challengers, Honda Civics, jacked up trucks, slammed trucks, squatted trucks. I mean, I don't care what you have as far as cars concerned. I may not agree with that style, but as long as you're a good person, I, I don't care. Everything's innovation to me. Everything. There's not one thing out there that isn't an innovation in the car world. Anything that you do, it, it pushes us along as a human race. So let's push each other. So let, instead of having the separate groups from each other, let's make one big group together. And I'm hoping this community, the Sinister Camaro Army, is a good community for you. And I hope you join so that we can help motivate you while you help maybe, maybe motivate us if you feel obligated. I mean, that, that's just the, the kind of community that I hope to create. So the thing that hit my heart when we're dealing with bullies, uh, this teacher was writing multiplication tables on the, on the chalkboard. And I'm sorry if I just dated that a little bit, but that's basically what the, the whole thing was about. So she was writing the nines tables, uh, the little trick where you go from zero to one on one side and zero to one on the other side, that kind of thing. So she started writing. She got to like five or six, and sure enough, she messed up a one number. The student was like, oh, I saw it. I saw you messed up. Hey, hey, teacher, you, you messed up. She turned to him and said, no, I messed up on purpose because I wanted to teach you something. People are always going to be watching you to fail, to do bad, to not succeed. And even with YouTube, because I mean, I was telling my wife the other day, I mean, you, you post videos with getting pulled over, getting going to jail, something bad, it's going to get more views than anything you've ever seen. And that's the point the teacher's trying to make is that people will always look at the negative things. You can do a million good things in life, but that one bad thing or one thing you messed up on could ruin that whole entire thing. And that hit me really hard because I was one of those students that was looking out for the teacher to, to correct them because I felt like I was superior over them, that I knew more than they did. When in reality, that's not the case. They messed up one time. They still got a master's degree over what I've got, which is I'm in fourth grade. I mean, who am I to say who's better and who's not? I'm not. Nobody is. The only person that matters is ourselves. So I hope that helps somebody. I hope this talk um, has helped one of you to want to reach out. Feel free. I got, I'll got. i leave all my links in the description, uh, social medias, all that good stuff. So let me know if, if you need to talk. I'll be more than happy to do so. Uh, let me know in the comments, like, what what helps you to deal with bully, you know, whether it be on social media or real life. What helps you? Leave in the comments. It might help somebody. If, it, if this video helps even one person, just one, it's worth it. I'm not worried about views. I'm not worried about subscribers. But helping people, that should be on the top of our list, if anything. And don't get lost in somebody else's nothingness. Don't just be the person you were meant to be. Be the person that you always dreamed of being your role model. Just don't get caught up in bullying others because it's 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 a lose lose for everybody. So don't just don't worry about doing that. So this talks can be for yourself, for someone in your family, a friend, a need, 
uh, even your own children if you're a parent. I mean, dealing with bullies is is a big hot topic that has came uh, come about recently. However, it's always been around. It's just not been glorified on the news channels. But I just wanted to give my opinion and my thoughts process on bullies and how to deal with them, because that may help one of you guys. And if it has, hey, let me know. I would love it. Uh, I love hearing from you guys. I love uh, interacting with you guys. Uh, I'm meeting a whole bunch of you on Instagram, so be sure to uh, follow me on there. Uh, my Facebook personal page is almost full, but my car page is always open to have more friends there too. If you want to show off your ride so that we can help encourage you to do builds up, all, all that good stuff, let's do it. Let's make this, the Sinister Khmer Army, a community that helps each other rather than breaks each other down. I don't want to say a safe space because that we nobody needs that. All we need is a little, a little, um, a little bit of each other to lean on, and to get through the day, through the weekend, through the month, through the work day. I mean, you never know. Everybody deals with this stuff every single day. No matter how much you want to say that you don't deal with it, there's people that deal with it. So be the the help that they need, so that when you need it, you can be the help that they can be the help that you need too. But at the end of the day. When it comes to bullying, if, if you are one of these people that likes to get a rise out of people, all I have to say to you is I hope that you realize one day that there's something that you have to deal with at some point. And if you want to talk to somebody about it, I'm here for you. So don't worry about dragging people down. Build people up because chances are the bullies are dealing with something on the back end that they want to bring everybody down to their level so that they can feel the pain that they feel too. I'd, I'd be praying for them, all the bullies out there, no matter how how much you want me to just bend or break, it doesn't matter. I'll be praying for you. So if you like this message and you want me to continue these Motivational Mondays, hit that like button. As I keep saying, comment me some ideas of how you deal with bullies so maybe we can help uh, the community grow as a whole. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more. Uh, if you like this, I've got some awesome content coming this week. Thank you so much for joining me today uh, out of your very busy schedule, and I hope to see you here again. I'll see you later here, Sinskimer Army. Perfect!